These are people that, in my opinion, hate our country. All I'm saying that if they're not happy here, they can leave. Progressive Democratic Congresswoman should, quote, go back and help fix the totally broken and crime-infested places from which they came. Do you believe President Trump is a racist? Yeah, yeah, no question. The 49ers quarterback refusing to stand for the national anthems of four games. Get that son of a off the field. Stand up and show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. They can leave. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm sure, sure that there'll be many people that won't miss them. All four are American citizens. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. And so the first note that I want to tell children across this country is that no matter what the president says, this country belongs to you. And it belongs to everyone. If you're not happy here, you can leave. Donald Trump is a racist. He evokes white supremacism. And quite honestly, we all owe those who at least doubted her, Jamil Hill, an apology. Because she tweeted this way back when, called her shot like Babe Ruth, and was unapologetic when the truth did come out. These racist sentiments that the racist president wrote on Twitter and the doubling down in front of the media is something we at the Young Turks called out repeatedly. We could go all the way back to housing discrimination. We could go all the way back to the exonerated five. What set off the racist alarms for many was how he spoke of Colin Kaepernick. I think it's good. You have to stand proudly for the national anthem. Well, you shouldn't be playing. You shouldn't be there. Maybe you shouldn't be in the country. Now, let me ask everyone, did Steve possibly say the same of Chris Long? of the New England Patriots and Philadelphia Eagles? No, of course not. So when Chris Long goes on a Twitter tirade calling Trump a racist on Trump's favorite social medium, what did Donald Trump do? Did he attack Chris Long? What he did, because Chris Long is white, is nothing. Yet what did he say of Colin Kaepernick? I have followed it, and I think it's personally not a good thing. I think it's a terrible thing. And, you know, maybe he should find a country that works better for him. Do you remember when Megan Rapinoe's quote about not going to the White House came out? I'm excited about um, going to the White House. I'm going to the White House. <laughs> no. Megan Rapinoe was the first white player to kneel after Colin Kaepernick started kneeling. And you know what Trump ended up doing? He did not want to see Megan Rapinoe's birth certificate. He did not say that she should go back to the country she came from. What he said was this. I'm inviting the entire team to the White House. <sighs> because Megan Rapinoe is white, she's viewed as an American, which goes to exactly what we all said and what even Mac Miller said way back when on Larry Wilmer's show, <clears throat> excuse me, on Comedy Central. You're not trying to make America great again, you're trying to make it white again. That's exactly what he's doing. He invited Megan Rapinoe, who criticized him, invited her and the team to the White House. How do you not see the double standard at this point? Colin Kaepernick should go back to the country he came from. AOC, Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, they should go back to the country they came from. But the Pittsburgh Penguins, when they visited Donald Trump in the White House, the majority of which hailed elsewhere, specifically Canada, and a grab bag of cold European countries, Russia, Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, and Finland were called incredible patriots. Seriously. But black men who knelt for the injustices that are plaguing their communities, what were they called? Son of a bitch. Donald Trump is a racist. Share this video if you agree.